Hello, my name is uh, Sanj Kakar. I'm an Associate Professor of Orthopedic Surgery at Mayo Clinic, and today we're going to be talking about tumors. So what is a tumor? A, a tumor is actually Greek, uh, meaning a, a term a swelling. Uh, there are uh, tumors can be good or bad. Uh, the good tumors are called benign tumors. The bad tumors are called uh, malignant tumors. We, we actually don't know what causes a tumor. Uh, Sometimes it can be related to a wrist injury, for example, and you can get swelling in the wrist or arthritis in the thumb that can manifest as a swelling in the wrist. It can also be caused uh, from a genetic trait. Sometimes, for example, sun exposure can cause skin cancers. But most of the time, we actually don't know what uh, the cause of a tumor is. And people sometimes just simply find a lump and they don't want know what it is. A lot of people are worried about bad lumps, i.e. a malignant lump, but the majority of tumors in the, in the hand and wrist, for example, are benign. The most common soft tissue tumor is in fact a ganglion cyst, and usually these are swellings are either on the back of the wrist or sometimes on the front of the wrist. Most patients notice that the swelling is there. Sometimes they find it cosmetic, cosmetically not appealing. Uh, sometimes it can cause pain. For example, if you have a tumor on the front of the wrist, it can press on the nerve and can cause uh, numbness and tingling in the fingers. Sometimes people just want to know what it is and hence they come and seek uh, medical attention. Uh, sometimes, however, it can cause pain. For example, if it's pr uh, pressing on a vital structure, that can cause pain and hence uh, they uh, seek uh, medical opinions. So first of all, when you see a doctor, the uh, physician will just take a history from you. For example, finding out when it came on, was there any traumatic event, is it getting bigger, is it getting smaller, is it causing any pain? And after they've done that, they'll examine it. They'll examine it, for example, to see the site of it, the size of it. Is it smooth? Is it firm? Uh, is it rubbery? Uh, is it pulsatile? Sometimes it can get bigger and smaller, uh, for example, if it's located to a blood vessel. And then after they've done that and they've ascertained what it may be, then they'll usually get some imaging. Uh, sometimes it's going to be as simple as a, an x-ray of the hand, for example, or the wrist. Or then, uh, usually, depending if it's a soft tissue or a hard tissue tumor, one would may, may either get a specialized CAT scan or an MRI scan or maybe an ultrasound. And then once we've got an idea, usually this imaging gives us a, a general idea of if it's a good or a bad uh, mass. Uh, and then a discussion can be had uh, with a patient. Depending on what the imaging looks like, sometimes we tend to get um, tissue uh, from the specimen. If it's a small mass, it can be excised and sent to the lab to make sure it's a good or a bad tumor, and that will determine further treatment. Sometimes, however, what we do under ultrasound guidance or under imaging, uh, we place a needle in the tumor to take some of the tissue and then send it to the lab to examine it under the microscope to see if there's any uh, cells worrisome of a, a malignant or a bad tumor. And then, we can, uh, and then the, the patient will then follow up with the physician and discuss further treatment options. So as we've uh, discussed, uh, the most common soft tissue uh, tumor of the, of the hand and the wrist is actually a ganglion cyst. These are pretty um, uh, innocent cysts and, and they're benign, which is good. That means that they're a good tumor. Uh, most of the people, it just stays there and it doesn't cause them any problems whatsoever. Sometimes it'll get bigger, but occasionally it'll actually get smaller. And once uh, a patient has been seen by a physician who is comfortable in the management of these, uh, the treatment options really are dependent on their symptoms. A lot of people actually decide to just leave it alone and let's see what happens. Sometimes what we can do is, uh, under ultrasound guidance, put a needle in it and actually pop it and uh, inject some steroids. And usually uh, they will go away for a time, although sometimes they can come back. And if it becomes a problem, then we can do surgery. Surgery can be done uh, either arthroscopically or uh, we make a small incision and excise this, but this is day surgery and uh, people go home the same day. So if, if you do have a, a mass or you're concerned about a swelling, uh, I think the best uh, advice is to see uh, a, a doctor who's uh, comfortable in the management of these. Uh, most of these, as I've said, are good tumors, nothing to worry about, uh, but I think if you uh, see somebody and uh, who will examine you, they can then uh, afford the most appropriate uh, treatment for your case.